Now this one has a little ball in it, and uh, I don't even try to take them out, but and it has a little screen on it also. Our ultrasonic cleaner uh, does a real good job of cleaning these out, so I don't have to take them apart. But the main thing is that they're clean enough that the ball, the check ball in there, uh, moves around freely. So you give it a little shake, listen to it, make sure it moves real freely. The screen is in good shape. Goes at the bottom of the float bowl. Probably could have put this on before I did the accelerator pump. Would have been a little easier. snug these things up. They got This one has an aluminum gasket on it. Some have uh, copper. So just snugged up about 10 to, 4, 10 to 15 pounds is good enough. Okay, the float. Now this is another variation on these things that I've seen. Is some floats just have a pin that go through it and drop in here in a slot. And this one here has the pin that goes through the carburetor into the float. Not a big deal on the difference. Okay, there is a gas that goes on here, and uh, but it's already in there. Again, I've done this before, but had a little silicon lubricant on it. You have to work these in the holes sometimes. Or sometimes they're a little tight. Now when you have this on the engine, when you are operating the accelerator pump, you should see a nice steady stream coming out through this tube into the Venturi. If not, it's probably clogged. It's a very small orifice on there. Okay, needle and seat. Needle and seat comes with three different uh, gaskets of different thicknesses. Make sure you put the same one on, same thickness that you had before to keep your float height right. Our kit comes with uh, different gaskets depending on the variation of the uh, carburetor. And what you just want to try each one and make sure the holes aren't being covered up. Which one looks like it's the best fit and that's all I ever do. Or compare it with the one you took off if you still have it. Now see this doesn't just doesn't look right so this one here looks perfect.
So this float system is pretty simple. You see what happens when the float comes up. As it comes up, this is going to hit the uh, needle and seat and close it. So what you want to do is kind of determine when the float is level, is it going to close this? And obviously it will. This protrudes down, protrudes down into um, the float bowl um, by the length of this stem that's sticking out right here. Simple as that. Pretty, pretty crude kind of thing. All right, we put my what I call a helicopter pad back on. Get lined up. And you got this uh, weird little. Uh, washer that goes in over here. Now if it gets lost I've just taken a, uh, what do you call those kind of washers, they look like a little, I call them castle washers or a crown washer and flat ones stick it in there and then just kind of reef on it and it uh, shapes into the hole. And we're done. Check it over and make sure we don't have any holes that need to be filled. We have parts left over. Make sure the accelerator pump is working. Throttle valve is opening and closing. And all that's left to do is I'll uh, spray a little black paint on it here and um, to keep uh, and that helps keep the corrosion down. And that's your 44 PA1.